Okay, so look, here's what I like to address as much as I can. I like to address criticism, okay? Um, because I think that's where more learning comes. I mean, that is where more learning comes. So let me, let me start by this. Um, for progress to take place in anything in life, there has to be disagreement, right? If we all agreed that you know, a horse was the best way to get around and nobody ever disagreed with that, we'd still be riding horses, right? So disagreement has to exist for progress. So it's a very, it's a question of how we deal with disagreement, that we deal with it as professionals, you know? So in other words, I'll create, I'll share my position and provide evidence to back it up. The person who disagrees with me provides their position and evidence to back it up. And then ultimately you have to decide, you know, you have to decide. Um, so I'm going to address a criticism and, you know, I'm probably going to get criticized again for addressing this criticism. You'll understand. But so I preface it with that disagreement. It has to be part of progress. There is no other way. It's just how human beings are. Um, so this person says, uh, I want to preface this with the following. I do agree with most of what you're saying in this particular case. However, I do want to warn me, I guess, to tread lightly by continuing to grow your audience whilst attacking competition with larger followings. Uh, she says, I thought you had turned around and changed this aspect of your channel, but mainly uh, you've very much talked and rather demeaningly about Claudia Dean, two videos prior to this one. Okay, so look, I have absolutely no issue addressing criticism or taking it. Okay, so let me address this one, and I, this is my response isn't going to make this better, but I'm just here's the thing. So let me I'm just going to address this most recent podcast. I'm not going to address the rest of them. So yes, I am. I think through everything to the extent that I have time to do and can, but you have to understand that my position is this. This is my position, and I, I pretty much, I thought I made this clear about a week ago with another podcast, me being a parent of a ballet student, right? So what I see is this little girl in two photos, right? We can put them up again. Now in the first photo, she's totally squared away, right? Now, she's not squared away because the teacher squared her away, because the after photo is the work of Claudia Dean, who, by the way, I don't know her. I don't have anything against her personally. This isn't about, it's not an attack. This is what education in ballet looks like and sounds like, right? For me, somebody else would have a different way of explaining it and it could be just as correct and just come out in a way that this particular individual person would like more. But the truth is the truth in any case, okay? It's not an attack. It's educating. And and, but to get a little edgier about it, so the, the first, the left side of this photo is just a little girl doing what her body does. Because it's comfortable for her, she's working within the, the um, she's working within the range of what her body's capable of right now at her age. And so you see her shoulders are relaxed because her legs are straightening, okay? She's sitting up and her feet are pointing to the extent that they can without straining them, without struggling. So she's relaxed up top. The after photo, which, which is the problem, is she's trying to please her teacher. She's trying, because the teacher's saying, well, I have this program to stretch the feet or whatever it is. And the student wants to fulfill the wishes of the teacher, that that program makes sense. This is how children, this is what children do. And when you're a parent, you understand these things about children. And so the little girl is straining her feet to try and meet whatever this arbitrary standard is. And you see the reflection of the straining in her legs and her upper body. She's totally uncomfortable, okay? Now this is the part you're not gonna like. Um, so if, if by pointing this out, a thousand other children and teachers of children don't make this mistake, then I don't really give a shit if an adult person is offended by it, particularly the teacher. 
okay? I do care as, as a human being and as an educator about that teacher, okay? And if the teacher decides that to make that adjustment and understand it and, and interact with me if they want or whatever, great. Like if any teacher at any time, regardless of who I've talked about or they've talked about me, I don't, I'm not, I don't care about any of that. At whatever point a teacher decides that they want to learn placement, you know, the fundamentals, I'm now on their side. For those who are going to dig in and double down on the ignorance of these things, we're going to collide and I'm going to get increasingly less polite as time goes on about that. And I'll tell you why. Because the priority in this world are children. This little girl is the priority over any adult anywhere. Okay? And to add to this, this little girl's parents are paying for this, presumably. Okay? So now, what if this girl, she goes to school, I presume, I don't know. Let's say she goes to school, you know, she's at school normal academic school and she's learning you know reading writing arithmetic like the rest of us and a couple years later let's say she goes to a private school her parents are paying and three years later she can't read and write or do basic math and to add to that maybe she does it poorly or incorrectly so it's not only the the not learning of something it's the doing it poorly right which is causing injury now in this case it's injury to the body well let me explain this very clearly when a person's body is injured or sick we've all experienced this it affects the rest of you it's just young people young kids are very very resilient babies are resilient they're very resilient it doesn't mean that they're not being impacted by it they are being impacted by it and it becomes permanent at a certain point you know, we're all just trying to outrun our child, the bad parts of our childhood to, and, and cope with it for the rest of our lives. This is a fact. So being a parent, understanding how this all works, I don't have a lot of patience for this kind of stuff. And it is my podcast and the priority is telling the truth. It's pointing out. Now, this is very simple stuff right here. This should not confuse anybody. Like the normal person can look at that photo and look at that photo and go, something's not quite right. So I'm going to do what I like on my podcast and I'll interact with teachers according to what I think is most appropriate for the situation. But the overall arching objective here is to educate. And if some adults have to have their egos bruised in order to do that, then so be it. I mean, that's it. If my audience grows by, you know, X amount because I do this, okay. If it grows slower because I point out the truth, then so be it. That's what it's going to be. So I'm not going to compromise the health and well-being of children and talk nonsense to attract more people because I frankly don't need to do that, right? I'm gonna attract whatever audience I attract by being myself. That's what everybody does, right? You can only be yourself, ultimately. And you're gonna attract whatever audience you do. And judging by the, the high caliber of messages that I receive, I'm connecting with the kind of people that I want to connect with. So I'm satisfied with that. I, I don't have any need to have some high numbers on social media because it really doesn't mean anything in the real world. It just doesn't. Okay. So yeah, I take, I, I understand what you're saying though. I understand. I mean, I do understand that. I, I know those, many of you who, who follow the, my work would like to see it grow. And I think that you're thinking that, well, if I would just tone down a little bit, it would grow faster and therefore I could connect with more people. And that is a valid point. That is a valid point. So I am thinking about it. I am doing exactly what you're suggesting. But I, got, I have a, um, I guess my pet peeve is, is that. It's, it's children and just seeing their bodies mangled uh, pisses me off. And it should piss off everybody. It really should. It should annoy adults way more than it does. And parents just don't understand what ballet is and isn't. And that's part of it. So by, by, by um, as, as this person mentioned, 
I have softened my, the messaging to some extent because I felt that was the right way to go with it. But uh, people just don't hear the truth simply. Normally, you have there has to be a bit of a. I have to be sharp sometimes to get the message out, and the these this particular message is proof of that. You see, I, I say something bluntly and I get a response and that means people are paying attention. So there's a whole lot going on when you're trying to present and educate, present information and educate, it's a dance, it, no pun intended, but it's, it, it's a complicated thing to do well. So I'm doing the best I can and I do appreciate your um, comments, especially when it's criticism. So don't stop doing that just because I'll respond you know, the way I am. You, you should continue to do that.